I forgot uh, to mention uh, my proposed methodology of how to handle this. My proposal is this. The next uh, uh, test for psychic phenomena, the $1 million challenge runs, make the claimant think that they are being tested by believers who have been contracted by the agency, what have you, to deal with the so-called experimenter side effect. Then in reality, keep James Randi in a separate room via one-way mirror, what have you, watching the test or having, and in addition having set up the protocols, but doing so out of sight of the claimant. This way, they will not actually know they are being tested by skeptics. And this way, if there really is anything there, then we'll actually be able to tell definitively one way or the other if there's actually something there. Because then there will be no skeptics uh, influencing it in a psychological format. And, you know, there will be no mechanism, if you will, for the so-called psychic to actually tell uh, that there's skepticism involved. That would deal with the experimenter bias effect in one way. And... Um, this way, if there really was a uh, so-called psychic effect and all their flaws have been dealt with, including experimenter bias in the believer's direction, uh, then, uh, you know, courtesy of the $1 million challenge protocols, then if psychic phenomena really were there and there was a significant result, we might have proof.